Hi, I'm Nia Patton, uh, moderator of the Ordinary Chat Room and skincare person on the internet. And today, again, I wanted to talk about sunscreen as a part of my Find the Right Sunscreen um, series that I'm going to do. So I wanted to talk about sunscreens for oily and acne prone skin. Start with this because that's what I've got. I have uh, cystic acne that I've got under control and pretty oily skin, as you can see by my shiny old face. Um, so there's a few sunscreens that I think particularly suit oily skin. I find it quite difficult to find suitable sunscreens. And I went through a period of time of not using sunscreen at all because they all get, seem to give me uh, spots. So it was the stuff like uh, La Roche-Posay, the ones you find in boots, if you're in Britain, you'll know that there's not that many choices for uh, sunscreens available in drugstores. So um, yeah, lots of spots and um, oily, shiny, sticky, unpleasant feeling on my face. So I kind of had enough and I stopped using sunscreen for a bit. But obviously I had to change that because that's really, really bad. And I started uh, buying Korean and Asian sunscreens, Japanese sunscreens, and I found them like a whole new ball game. So I could wear them all day long without feeling sticky or shiny or unpleasant. And um, also never got burnt. They seem to protect my skin nicely as well. And uh, you know, I think that's the most important thing about a sunscreen is that if you can wear it and feel comfortable, that's the main thing. So, you know, you want a sunscreen that you're willing to put on every single day and it's fine. So I'm gonna go through my little collection of sunscreens. So some of these sunscreens look a little bit old because I'm a weirdo and I don't chuck anything away and I've got lots of uh, sunscreens and skincare products that are uh, nearly finished and uh, I like to have them around so I can look at them. <laughs> it's a bit odd, I suppose. So uh, I'll get onto those now. So the first sunscreen I had any success with at all was the Nia Strata Sheer Physical Protection. Um, it's SPF 50 PA++++, which means that it's got uh, decent protection from UVA rays. Um, so it's kind of, a tinted moist, uh, sunscreen, but uh, it's not really, really tinted. It wouldn't sort of serve as a foundation exactly. It settles, that's a bit annoying. So you've got to shake it to get uh, the particles moving again. So this is the color of it. It's fair. I'll try and show you, I'll do a little face swatch. We're in the bathroom today because the traffic is really loud in my bedroom. There's good light in here. You can't really see it. It kind, of, you know, I think on some skin tones it might be white, but on me, sort of fair. It blends in and it's fine, but you know, not a huge amount of coverage. And I never found that it worsened my acne. It was very successful in that respect. Um, I think it's around thirty-five, thirty pounds something in that region, so it's a little bit more expensive. It's got 7% titanium oxide and 6% zinc oxide, so that's not really high. But nevertheless, it's a nice one to use. And it's not really, really shiny, doesn't feel greasy, and it's comfortable. The next product I have, slightly old looking Misha Waterproof Sun Milk. That's SPF 50 PA. Plus, 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 plus. So this is a milky formula. It's another one of those ones you shake to get um, the mineral particles moving. So this has got a white appearance and it runs like a milk. And I think milk sunscreen formulas are gonna be good for acne prone skin. I think this is mixed filters by the look of it. So it kind of goes on white. And a bit shiny, but it settles in. I think um, milk formulas are quite good for oily skin because they tend to sort of dry down. You pretty much, you know, you want to try and avoid um, sunscreen that um, 
avoid sunscreen that uh, contains um, a lot of oil. Um, the Think Baby sunscreen that I reviewed before, um, that's got a lot of like sunflower seed oil. I think that can be quite clogging. So sort of a powdery milk is quite a nice one for oily skin. Although you can see it still looks shiny, but then I think that's just the way I am. I'm just going to shine like the sun no matter what. I kind of got used to the idea that I'm just going to be shiny and oily and it's just my life now and I don't mind, it's fine. So next sunscreen I want to show you is the True Seeker Mineral 100 Calming Sunscreen. So this is a more of a cream, um, it's got mineral filters. I read online that apparently it hasn't got a very high concentration of zinc oxide which is a bit of a shame because it would have been really nice otherwise because it's not too white and that's the problem with mineral filters is that they get they're pretty white so if you've got anything darker than uh, pale 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 skin it leaves a, a what we call a white cast which isn't very nice to look at makes you look weird so I'm, I, I think I'm gonna put all these sunscreens on my skin and look like a total weirdo when I go outside because I'm going to go out for a run in a sec but yeah I'm going to enjoy this protection because it's a really sunny day so this is kind of liquidy when it goes on creamy but it does dry down and it does settle into the skin and I mean you can see that there's pretty much nothing white in there but um yeah a few people have said on the internet that, that the mineral concentration is not high enough for this but, you know, it is um, SPF 50 and it has a PA of plus, 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 plus. So that's good. I've not noticed any, any issues with burning. And it's got tea tree oil in it as well, which is quite good for acne. I find it's nice and comfortable on my oily skin. Doesn't make it, I think that's, yeah, that's dried down now. So, you know, a tiny shine, but not stupid and glowy like some sunscreens. And so next I've got the tinted sunscreens and I quite like a BB cream um, from Korea because um, you can use them as makeup. So uh, as opposed to having loads of sun cream and then that's kind of shiny and then you put makeup on top and just having so much stuff on your skin can be quite uncomfortable. So, you know, if you got a BB cream that has a really high SPF rating like this, uh, what's it called? It's got a really stupid long name. Skin 79 Super Plus B Blush Balm Original BB. <laughs> and that's SPF 50, uh, PA++++. And it can definitely be used as a foundation. I found it quite light in colour, I'll show you in a sec now. Um, but like I say, you know, it's it's good to um, reduce the amount of layers that, that are on your skin in the day by cutting out. See, that's really quite a good coverage there. Cutting out a layer of sunscreen and, and combining the foundation and the sunscreen into one step. I'm going to down here on my patchwork quilt of sunscreens. Yeah, so obviously I'm just using a tiny little bit just because my face is going to feel awful otherwise. Just to show, just to show you, to swatch, to show you what it's like. So it is a little bit pale for me even. Quite a lot of the BB creams are pretty light. I guess because um, that's the uh, market they're catering for, I suppose. But um, it's got a nice finish and really good coverage so i'd say semi matte sort of natural skin finish to it so the i've mentioned this before the my favorite uh, bb cream is misha perfect cover bb cream spf 42 so it's got a decent spf and pa plus 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 so I would wear this, say, if I was going to work on a cloudy day. Um, if it's sunny and I'm going to be outside at all, I wear a sunscreen underneath this to try and sort of amp up the SPF. And this has got a really nice, I've done a better video than this already, so 
I'll just show you a little bit. It's weird because it goes on grey. You get this kind of grey appearance to it. But once you've blended it in and it's sat for a little bit, that kind of calms down. And uh, it looks normal. And powder is your friend as well if you've got really oily skin. Because, you know, it's more important to protect your skin. If you can't find anything that looks matte, still, you need to be using something. So, you know, pop the sunscreen on and then powder over the top of it. Or just live with being shiny like I do. The uh, powder SPF you can get isn't great. It, um, you have to use a heck of a lot of powder on your face to get the SPF that's promised in the product. So that's not ideal really, because you'll end up looking cakey and odd. Um, so to recap, um, milk formulas are good. Uh, powder SPF doesn't give you enough cover. You can use it as, as a sort of setting powder, but I wouldn't rely on it for protection. Milks are good because they kind of dry down into more of a matte kind of uh, finish. Um, BB creams so that you can reduce the layers. Um, I'm trying to think of other products that I rate. So yeah, I think Kiehl's has got some nice SPFs um, that aren't too shiny. Uh, there's a brand called Frezzy Doom that does an SPF 50 that's like, it's almost just like a silicon primer. It's quite mattifying, but I, I don't have it. It did give me spots. So, you know, kind of a cautionary, but it's got a lovely light formula. So if you've got any top suggestions for um, SPF for acne prone skin, please pop them in the comments. I'm sure everyone will appreciate that. Finding the right SPF is like finding the holy grail of the world. Um, so let us all know if you have it already. Good luck to you and uh, enjoy the sun safely.